All right, welcome everybody. This is Eric. This is my channel, Cajun Blade. So I had a request for a video and I uh, thought about a couple different things. Um, uh, what, what the buddy of mine were, were requesting, what it was, he wanted to know how I used my Toshima Nagura in my Jane App progression. So I was gonna take one of my better razors out and do it on that, but he's been practicing on gold dollars. I said, you know what, I'm gonna try to get this as close to what uh, he's been working on. So first off, this gold dollar here, uh, it was uh, it was honed on a uh, convex uh, conical and I brought it all the way out to the edge and I see now more what uh, BLM was talking about. Some of the gold dollars, I've had some I can do with this one was coming apart every time I thinned it to the edge. So I made a decision to not mess with the, this particular razor on convex only. Uh, of course, I don't convex all my razors. It's just it's one of the things I do. I think it's, it gives good results and it's fun to change things up. So anyway, so what I'm gonna do is take this gold monkey and um, I'm gonna recut uh, the bevel on this uh, uh, Nano no, no, uh, Professional 1000, which is about the same as the Joceras. Uh, it's supposed to be the same as the Joseras, but either way, uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this. I may fast forward through. This may be a two-part video because it's these long videos have been paying the butt of uh, the load. So, what I will make a comment here is I normally use so I normally use a circle similar to what uh, Len Abrams used when I you know my normal routine bevel set. I use circles, 40 circles, then usually. 20 uh, regressing half strokes instead of a second set of circles and then I finish up on whatever uh, X strokes I feel that's doing I mean it's, it's, it's every razor's difference what it feels like at that point where it feels done and then I'll have some kind of sharpness check whether it be a, a nail uh, shaving arm hair is my favorite one right and if it can shave arm hair it's, you got bevel so uh, but I will say this, I've been watching Devin's videos and he's got a great point. If you're still in a stage where you're you're not sure of what you like and you're chasing your tail as for consistency, I would say don't use mine, don't use use somebody who is a, a proven honer and they got they got Lynn Abrams, you got that guy that uh that method that Devin's doing that you know stick with that by the book until you can get result you want and then change up you know but here this the way i do it if i'm on codicles i use circles that's I, I think you can get a lot of work done quick with it if i'm not on codicles and i'm on jane ass i don't really care to use circles i use more half strokes because the simple fact it's easy to read a scratch pattern with your loop so on, on a codicle i will say this i don't well, my, i don't let my eyes fool me a codicle edge is never going to look as pretty as a synthetic or a JNAT edge. So, so I don't get wrapped up in uh, the perfection of a scope or a loop. The shave results is the end result for me on a codicle. And, and I know what to expect, and I've looked at enough of them to where I'm not going to get wrapped up if it don't look like a synthetic or a JNAT. Right? But with a JNAT, what I'm getting ready to do, I want a more consistent, easy to read scratch pattern because I do trust my eyes and do trust my loop in this situation. So, but like I said, I don't hone everything the same. Some people do, I do not. I, I hone to the stone dependent with the stone requires. All right, so here we, we'll go ahead and uh, start this bevel set. Okay, I, uh, or I, say, I should say redevelop a decent bevel. This, this razor is shaving, but it's not the prettiest apex to say the least so i'm not a proponent of slurry on your finer bit synthetics but i do like it to speed the process up because hey i mean i'm not honing on synthetics because it's so they so fun to hone on like and that's all that's a problem to a means to me so i want to make the work as short and sweet as possible so we're going to start with my 20 half strokes and i'm not holding the on this razor on uh tape it has never been honed on uh, on uh on the spine it's always been honed on tape but i think since i'm resetting the belt it's time to go ahead and let some geometry uh uh you know kind of uh, how to word say it go to its natural geometry dog it. i'm setting a bad example all right 
one thing I am a proponent on is anytime you redevelop a bevel is a Sharpie test. And I can also tell you just about every time I do it, I forget to do it, so I stop and have to put my Sharpie on it. Like I say, this video may go a minute, so I might break it in two pieces. But I'll release it the same day. I was 25, I had some extra work to do on the, on the, uh, on the toe. I'm gonna go to 20. straight bevel not something you see every day on a gold dollar <laughs> but this one has, has had work on it now I'll, you see i've corrected it to no uh heel i'm sorry <laughs> i corrected the heel on it got it off the stabilizer and i did do the work on the 400 100 previously on it and it was just just, just, just a practice razor something i'll uh, practice on but like i said uh, as i tried to convex it it, it did deteriorate the apex but I like where I'm going right here. I'm not a, uh, a two-handed honer all the way through the process, but I do like it on a bevel set and I do like it on my half strokes. I don't use it on circles. But, uh, like I said, I'm not a very good example if you're looking for somebody with a regimented, do it this way like this all the time because I home stones different. And I, you know, I like to hone some things on one hand, I like to hone some things on two hands. And, and I can give you a reason why I like to do it, but I'm not gonna argue with you whether it's right or wrong. If you think it's wrong and you do it your way, I'll do it my way, and everybody be happy. this as long as I'm getting a good thumbnail test. I like it. Very smooth. Grabbing the whole way. Good thumbnail test, a good shave test all the way across. All right, 
Now, we all know that the scourge of China, the gold monkey and gold dollars, they can fool you. So I will quickly check them a little. Carson, Microbrite, some good, uh, good little hand my home microscopes. line all the way. We put this one in the drawing rack. Alright. So my buddy uses 1.5k and I think he has he goes to I don't know if he has a 3k but I'm gonna I think that if you don't not gonna use plan on using Botan and all you're gonna use is Toshima Nagura. I'm gonna go to 3K, because that's a lot of work for that, uh, that Tashima to do. So, let's go ahead and, uh, play. Fifteen. Ten. It's eight. This swarf is uh, from honing on the uh, spine for the first time. I'll tell you something, if you're gonna buy natural stone, if you get somebody to test it for you, make sure and get them to tape the spine. Because you probably get 70% of the swarf on a stone from the spine. That's how you can truly tell what's cut at the bevel. So these, uh, this is a, a lot of 3K. You can see none of the swarf is embedded, just sitting on top. The rod is the uh, 15 millimeter version of the Pro. You chose there is your 25 millimeter, then your professional or your Pro. It's 20 millimeter, and the rod is 15. I got these because I wanted to try a set going away from Shapton. I didn't want to invest a whole amount in a Chosera or a Pro just yet, and I've been completely dumbfounded and. and, and just to me there's no comparison to Shapton, Karamaku and these. There's so much 
and I'm not big. I got a 12K Superstone, and I don't like it. I don't like the gumminess of it. But these, this Chocera-ish synthetic is a, a, a love the feedback on it. So what I will do, I'll wear these out, then I'll eventually go to the Chocera's on the stand, I would imagine. fan of the gumminess of the, the Superstone. I got a uh, PG that's fairly gummy, but it does a good job, and it's, to me it was better than the alternative, the Shopping AK. But uh, I'm getting ready to replace it with a uh, Arada 10 and get rid of my having to use 8 and 12, because I very seldom ever go to hollow synthetics anyway. Feeling what I want to feel right here. All right. Sponge it off to the drying rack. Right. Always drying on my side. All right, that's video one. We're gonna cut it here. This is part one. I'm gonna clean up all my stones and we're gonna go to the uh, Tashima Nagura next. Thank you for joining me.